Hey everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Volvo S60 and its 15 speaker Bowers & Wilkins audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments and controls, speaker locations, then we're going to head out on the highway and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you want to hear more on the system, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. I should be recording a members-only sound test for this car, but also many of the other Volvos we've tested, we've got members-only tests. So you hear some more unique music, help support the channel, and kind of get more on the system. So check the link below. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. I've got it pulled in a little weird of a spot here because I'm trying to stay in the shade, but this is a really cool black edition of the Volvo S60. It's the recharge model meaning it's a plug-in hybrid. The car's technically running right now, but it's doing it all on electricity. It's also the ultimate model, so all the bells and whistles. I've been really happy with it, actually. I don't usually like black appearance packages, but I really like how this one looks. So if you do want to see more on the S60 or any of the other Volvos we've tested, check the link in the description. Now, we always do this test with lossless, uncompressed wave files. However, today they're not on a USB stick plugged directly into the system. They're on my phone plugged directly into the system. That's because without a special app here on the Volvo infotainment system, the Android Auto infotainment system, you cannot play USB tracks plugged directly in here. So I have to be doing it through Apple CarPlay on my phone. They're still uncompressed and it should still be a very high quality connection because it's wired CarPlay. Uh, but we still have the high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, just as the audio engineers intended. So let's take a look at those now. The Android Automotive infotainment screen here. We've seen it in some of the 2023 Volvos so far. It works pretty well, but it's not as responsive as I would like. We're gonna come over here to get to sound. And first we're greeted with driver, all, and rear for sound um, focus, if you will, I think is the best way to put it. When you're just driving around in this car, you should have it on driver. And even though factory default reset right here is all, I'm gonna switch it to driver because it's, if it's only you in the car, it's gonna sound best focused right here. Maybe we'll go back and forth throughout the test, but really I want you to experience all three right now. It is really impressive when you have it on driver, it sounds like you are sitting right between two stereo speakers in a listening room and the sound's coming from right in front of you. It's really cool. Let's back the track up a little bit here and then go through treble, bass, and subwoofer adjustments. One thing that disappoints me with Volvo systems is not having a nine band equalizer. When you're one of the best audio systems on the market, I, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I think it's perfect the way it is, but it would be cool to give people the option to adjust things to their tastes. It just makes the, the system seem that much more premium. Then outside of studio, you have a stage screen. Switching the audio there gives you more of a surround experience. You can adjust the intensity of how uh, hollow it's gonna sound and then also how dramatically it's going to envelop you. I actually like using this stage functionality fairly regularly. I keep the intensity about here and then envelopment about there. I think it sounds pretty cool. And then if that's not enough for you, you have two rooms, the Nefertiti Jazz Club in Stockholm and then the Gothenburg Concert Hall. Let's go through those two. Admittedly, those are a bit more gimmicky, but sometimes I find myself going to the concert hall to listen to uh, live recordings of songs that I like. And that's it for audio adjustments. 
four controls in the S60. You have a nice volume knob here and good reach for both the driver and passenger. Nice clicks in there as well. You also have volume on the right side of the steering wheel up and down here. For track selection, you've got physical controls flanking the volume knob, I like that. You can use the touch screen if you're on the proper menu and right and left here, right by the volume controls on the right side of the wheel. For audio inputs in the S60, you have, we go over to here, radio, which just gives you, looks like we've got FM, no sort of AM, and doesn't seem like we've got Sirius XM built in that way either. So just FM radio, let's go back home, but you can't, you do have a Sirius XM app built in here, so you can use it that way. You've got Spotify app, a Google News app, and you can install more music applications using the Google Play Store. Bluetooth support, support for wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, well, actually no, not Android Auto, because this is an Android automotive system, so just Apple CarPlay. And that is it. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, take it back. Like I said, you can use a USB-C drive if you have, uh, there's a certain app it's called, I'll put the name below right here, that allows you to plug in devices if you were to actually own this car. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, like I said, you don't have any 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, no wireless CarPlay or Android Auto support at all, and no AM radio, no sort of disc player, and it's more difficult to use the USB drives, so it's a little harder to get high fidelity music into this car. I don't know if you got Tidal support. I think I remember the last time I tried Tidal in a Volvo, it was compressed, so a lot of, a lot of ifs there, and it's kind of a shame because it makes it more difficult to get hi-fi music in the Bowers & Wilkins system. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 15 speaker system. It's pushing about 1400 watts as well. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a woofer here, one. Uh, mid-range there, two, tweeter three, mid-range and tweeter up there, four, five, six, seven, eight on the right side, coming into the back, tweeter nine, woofer 10, 11, 12 on the door. Those might be mid-rangers and these might be woofers, I'm actually not 100% sure, but you got 13 and 14 there and then a subwoofer that you can't see way up under the trunk and the floor making 15. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away and we're gonna head out on the road.
absolutely find no fault with this system. It is the, possibly this car that we're testing right here, the 2013 or 2023 S60. It might be the best car I've ever tested for a sound system. I mean, it really is that incredible. And I've listened to so many different kinds of music and every song you can just turn up so loud and get all of the different sounds coming through and everything sounds good and strong and satisfying. And oh my gosh, traffic doesn't know what to do around here. There's terrible drivers. Why is that Civic going five miles per hour below the speed limit? <laughs> um, I am, I'm just so happy with it. I, I hope you can hear through to this song and, and how good this sounds, especially in studio mode here focused on the driver, but then you go to a song like we were listening to before, the more orchestral piece, and you can change it to stage or the, the symphony orchestra hall. It's just, it's so fun to listen to your music in this car, pure and simple. So this next track, we'll turn the bass all the way up and see how much we can flex that, uh, that subwoofer as well as the woofers in the door here. my thoughts on the 15 speaker Bowers and Wilkins. All right, why did that edge just go all the way over and get straight into the left lane? Why don't do that, people. There's plenty of room in the right. You don't need to get directly over. Okay. All right. Now that that's been established. <laughs> Wrapping up my thoughts here. This sound system is so good that you won't even be bothered by gold retirement spec Ford edges going directly into the passing lane when they merge onto the highway because your music is going to sound so good. <laughs> I just, I, I, I have sat in my driveway when I got home just continuing to listen to music. I, did, I didn't want to get out of the car because the sound was so good. This is, this is S tier. This is S plus. It, it just doesn't get any better with this than this. We've driven half a million dollar Rolls Royces that are on the same plane as this system and might just be a hair less impressive. So thank you all so much for watching. If you truly care about the best possible audio system in a car, you, you gotta get a Volvo. You gotta figure out how you wanna do it. Uh, this S60 uh, recharge, 
Ultimate is, is a pretty good option, I think. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the car, check the link in the description, and we will see you on the next one. Don't forget, we've got some members-only tracks recorded for this one, so I'll throw the link in there as well. I'm Charlie from DM Sound, and as always, drive on.